Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a Generac generator, the whole overall system, and taking a look at how the system actually works to power your home. So first of all, this is a standby Generac generator. This is a 22 kilowatt model. To open it up, we just go like this. And we'll take a look. You have an engine, and you have a very large alternator, like in your car. This is what powers the home. So when the power goes out, the transfer switch, which I'll show you in a second, tells the generator to turn on, and from there, the generator starts powering the house. So let's take a look at that. As we walk down, we'll see the gas and electric lines that actually run into the generator. And so uh, you can see how they're attached to the house and how they look. Now this is the transfer switch. In order for the generator to actually power the home, you need something to choose where the power is coming from. So this box here is going to determine whether or not it's getting power from the utility company or power from the generator which then feeds the house. So in this case, in a normal day, right now, the power is on. It's going to be using the power from the electric meter. Then. If the power were to go out, the generator takes about 30 seconds, the engine to turn on, warm up. It doesn't want to turn on too fast because if your power comes on really fast, it doesn't want to be turning off and on for no reason. So, generator turns on, 30 seconds later, the mechanism in here transfers the power from uh, the utility company into the house to the generator into the house. And after about a minute, the whole process turns on, engine starts working, this transfers, and the generator is up and running, and you have power. 